Hello. All right, so my friend asked me to help him design a custom tray for the Gagia, Gagia, Gagia espresso machine. So we're going to go over there to take some dimensions. <sighs> All right, we're here. So show me what's up. What do you want to do? So I was just looking for a way to organize all of these items on top of my machine without having them like fall over or be unorganized really. Okay. My friend wanted a storage unit for small items on the top side of the machine. So I'm thinking of utilizing this top cover, like maybe putting a tray on top. For now, I'm just gonna finish up taking dimensions of this cover and head back to the office to start. I have the simple dimensions, so let's hop on CAD and I'll show you what's up. Okay, so I'll start with simple shapes and correctly entering in the dimensions I recorded. And then afterwards, I could start extruding. And while I'm extruding, I have to also keep in mind that there's tolerances that I need to work with. I want the design to still utilize the original tray. I will have the model snap onto it, so we're going to have to focus on fine-tuning the squares in the middle and the outer edges. We won't be able to print this model without designing a custom support. We don't want supports touching the surfaces that will be visible because it will mess it up. And here's an example of a surface touch by supports. I remember watching a video from Slant3D about printing diagonally with fins. So we're going to try that out. We're also going to add some brims so that the print doesn't lift from the bed. And we're ready to print. The fin left a few scars on the print. Not a big deal. We'll keep a note on it and find a solution later. Right now, the main focus is getting it to fit. All right, let's go test the fit. Part two in my profile, check it out. 